Well, it will have escaped no one's notice that um, I'm in a pretty secure position now. Um, you can see just from looking at this uh, US theatre here, the, um, the American theatre, that all the territories um, are blue except for right down in the southeast there where um, the United Provinces have a couple of regions and the um, Prussians have one region protected by two armies of the United Provinces who are their allies. Um, I've also got a fairly decent sized navy down there as well and I'm keeping a close eye on any ship movements along there. Anybody that puts their uh, armies on fleets will find that they go to war with me and will lose their fleets. Um, I, I'm not sure exactly which trade route that was, but um, uh, I, someone suggested that I um, that, that I get more trade ships and occupy more hubs, or move my trade ships to. In fact, that's what they said. Actually, move the trade ships to um, a more productive hub, um, something that would be more lucrative. But really, to be honest with you, I don't need the money, and I'd probably end up having to fight somebody who may well be a trade partner and an ally. Now, I know the comments come several videos back. Um, I forget where I'm up to now, but um, which video I'm on, but uh, um, it's the um, is it 21st today, 22nd so um, of January. So um, I, I don't know which video I had up at that particular time, you know, but um, in fact the comment might even be a video or so ago as well. So situations might have changed. I might have even been raiding somebody's trade route with that um, trade fleet at the time instead of having them on a hub. Uh, but I'm not moving. Just in answer to the question whether it's relevant now or not is is that um, the, the trade hub is, um, uh, you know, it could be occupied by somebody else and so I think it's probably wiser to stay away. Anyhow, um, I, I, I'm on the homeward straight now, I'm hoping, so I, I'm thinking that I've got, um, uh, what, four more years to get through, which is eight turns, in such a secure position, all should be well... For oh, there's my trade fleet there, isn't it? And the Ottomans are old friends of mine, so we should be okay there. I mean, things could go wrong, um, all sorts of things could happen. I could get attacked in, in Europe, in various different places. It would be difficult for him, though. He'd, he'd have to come through France, where I have um, a rather large army there in, in Paris. Um, Britain doesn't have a lot of troops around it, but it does have um, a strong navy, which is going to get even stronger soon, coming around it. So that, that should protect that. Um, Morocco and um, Gibraltar are all fairly well supported, so I can't see anything getting through there, and that's the point really. Anything that comes towards me now, bringing an army, has got to go through the Straits of Gibraltar. Um, if it does that, I will see it. Um, alternatively, it could come through um, one of the uh, the trade routes. You know where the, the Ottomans just came through there? We were just looking at them and you saw my ships at the trade hub there. Well, each of those um, trade routes are shown, so I can I can see them. The only one I can't see, actually, is the one um, uh, over towards the uh, the Asian side, because I haven't got any trade going through there. Um, in fact, it might be an idea for me getting trade with somebody, just so I can see what's coming through there. But anyhow, the point is that, that if anything were to come on that way, it would come on in the, the southeast of the American theatre, which is where I have a decent sized fleet, so I should be safe there. Not only that, if anything does land anywhere, it can't move instantly inland, and I can move very, very quickly inland by moving um, my uh, along the coastal routes. Sorry, not I can move to inland places simply by, um, as you've seen, bunny hopping along the coastline areas, so I should be okay there as well. So. All seems well. Trade gain, I'll just show you that. And unit recruited. Oh, I don't remember that one. Maybe that's because it took two turns and the others took only one, so I lost track of it. Um, okay, upper and lower Louisiana probably. Oh, war declared. Austria and Prussia. Ha! Excellent. That's all we like to see. Now, if I just uh, flick over to here, you'll see the navy that I put in, put in here. That's this one. Um, there should be a sloop that I need to leave behind. Yes, there is. So I just leave that sloop there, and that. Oh, hang on a minute. Well, I clicked the wrong thing there. Let's do that again. Shift click and then Control click that one. That should disappear. Yes, that's right. Okay. Um, really, what I want to do is keep an eye on this area here. Now I could raid this trade route. The trouble is, if you raid trade from someone, then the person who is um, trading with them like United Provinces, for instance. So if I raid there, I will raid from the the Prussians. But it means also that those who are trading to the Prussians, so that would be the United Provinces, would lose some of their income. You know how it happens to me? I don't know if it's happening at the moment, but I can show you. Yeah, you see that there? 
Um, I, now that's probably because Sweden's blockaded completely rather than that, that I'm just being raided from. But if some of them were being taken off, it would mean that it was being pirated. Um, now, if I were to do that there for Prussia, it would mean United Provinces would lose some of their income towards uh, Prussia. So it may well encourage the United Provinces to go to war with me. I'm going to leave that ship there. Um, he, um, he can't land anywhere um, there and move instantly inland, so I'm fairly safe there. But I just want to keep an eye on what's happening at that port there, really. Um, it might be an idea if I could see what was happening in those as well, actually, to be honest. It might be worth me just moving somebody down there to go and have a look. In fact, I'll just have a I wonder if I can see from there. Let's just nip back a minute and have a look. Okay. It's not such a bad idea having somebody around there, actually. Let's just move back again. Oh, sorry, not move back again, but move forward a little bit further. Oh, there isn't another port, is there? There's just, there's just those two, isn't there? Right, well, there's, there's nothing in there, otherwise I'd be able to see it. Okay, so they're just being used as trade ports. Global Trading Company, and that's a commercial port as well, so they're not going to be able to produce uh, brilliant ships anyway. So I'll just put that back into the, the mouth of the, um, the Baltic again to protect that, that area there. That looks like it might, might need repairing, but hmm, maybe not. It's only a brig, isn't it? Actually, they're pretty poor quality ships, those. But, if you remember, the, um, the Prussians don't have good navies, or they haven't had so far. They've been fairly easy to beat. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a global trading company again. Is there anything along here that can produce decent ships? I'm not sure. That one. There's a dry dock there, so mm, maybe they'll produce something from there. But it'll take them a long time. It takes three turns to produce decent ships anyway, so... Um, and there aren't that many turns left in the game, so is he going to be able to produce them, put men on them, get them over to the Americas? I personally think not. Let's have a quick check and just see how we're doing in the regions. Make sure everybody's happy. Yes, they are. I could increase tax if I wanted. What's this one here? Oh, I'll just check, actually, that everybody is being taxed. Um, there may well be somebody that I took off tax, just to make sure they're OK. Or just to settle them. No, no, everywhere, everywhere's being taxed. Uh, we're up to 45,000, and next turn I expect to get another 33, so that'll be 88,000, maybe 89. Well, so we're approaching 90,000, aren't we? So I think uh, we're fairly safe there. The Ottomans are friends, like I said. We've got pluses with them diplomatically. Um, the Russians, mm, I don't know what their fleets are like. They're usually poor. They are poor, aren't they? <laughs> so they're not really a threat, and they're too far away to pick up any troops and things. They, they could blockade, they could block trade, but I've got so much money now, I could probably last till the end of the game, you know, so I'm really not too worried about that. So anyhow, um, I can't see um, where my weak points are at the moment. I know I have troops up here. I'll leave those in there just to settle that population for a little bit. Uh, nothing can jump instantly on there. Iceland, by the way, um, up here. Yes, there's a bit of a problem with Iceland, but I mean, Iceland is rebel. So maybe I need to watch out for anybody taking Iceland, and then I'll simply um, take it back off them and go to war with them if they do. Like I said before, this is a decent sized fleet down there. Um, everything is covered here. I, I need to keep an eye on here, which I can do. I can easily see what's, um, what's, being, what's being raised around here. Um, and also in here. Um, if anything is produced um, down here, then it's got to get past me somewhere. I can see everything. You see all these areas here lit up. And my fleet here, all around here, the trade routes. I mean, nothing is getting past that point there without me seeing it first. So I think we're pretty well covered now. So, And that's there. I still don't know why that's there. But anyhow, he obviously doesn't know what to do with it. He was going to do something and he's changed his mind. Maybe it was when he went to war with me he put it on there. Uh, but now I've made peace, he doesn't know what to do with it. I, I just don't know. Um, London is very lucrative, and it's got no, oh, it's got a decent army in there anyway. I don't need to put any more in there. Might just get another couple in here. Um, but really, again, I can ferry troops around. If anybody, if anyone did attack there, I could easily bump troops around from London over to there. So let's get a couple more in Ireland as well, and. Uh, okay, we have got a fortress in there, haven't we? Yes, we have there as well, so all's well, I think. So let's do the turn again. Let's see what happens this time. Should have had a look at uh, Austria, shouldn't I, really? You know, Austria and Prussia are at war with one another. Uh, I mean, I could engage, you know, in all sorts of different places. I could start pushing the United Provinces back in Europe. 
I don't want to dig in and, and hook out the Prussians, I'm afraid, because I'll, I'll end up right in the middle of Europe then. That's one of the problems with Prussia. I'll end up fighting. I, I don't really see any point with um, this number of turns left. Um, how long would it take me to wipe out the nation? I might just do it. I might just wipe out um, uh, the Prussians, but you know, well, it depends on who else goes to war with me as well, wouldn't it? But you know, I don't, I don't think I need to. I've easily achieved all the objectives now. If the um, United Provinces leave... I'll just speed this up a bit, actually. If the United Provinces leave um, Martinique... No, it's not Martinique, it's Curacao, isn't it? If they leave... Oh, I'll just slow this down when they do their move, just to make sure I can see what they're doing. Oh! <laughs> they did nothing at all, so those ships haven't moved from the southeast. Um, unless they've gone up to the, um, the export area, you know, and gone out to a trade area. I really don't know. Oh, where are these? These are in the south, near Austria. No, sorry, near um, Italy, aren't they? But this is Austria, of course. Um, I wonder who they're going to go for. Oh, no. Hang on a minute. Well, if you're going to start... Um, I don't know if he's sending those to me or not. He certainly sent a few into my territory there, didn't he? If he's going to start doing that, and that's um, potential war. So you'll have to watch himself there. Right, hmm. Prussian fleets leaving the American theatre, presumably going over to the um, going over to Europe, the European theatre, to pick up troops in there. Oh, crikey! I don't think they're the same ones. Otherwise, they've appeared extremely quickly, haven't they? I'd like to know how they got past my fleet. Hmm. Just left a bit of a gap. That's nice. Okay. Ottomans. Uh, I'm quite happy at the moment with my position. With what what I've just seen now, I can't see anything that's going to be uh, a threat. Oh, hang on a minute. But the Italian states still an enemy. Did I make peace again with the Italian states? I just don't remember. Ah. The Italian states went to war with me, didn't they, at one point, when I, when I went to war with someone else. But I don't know if I mm, sorted that one out. That was the Italian states, wasn't it? They seem to be going through one of those um, trade hub areas. Mm. Just going to go and have a look at those when this finishes. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. Taking ages. Oh, good. Quick line shells. That's exactly what I wanted, most of all. Brilliant, I like those. Uh, it's taken me ages to get my technology up in this game. Right, now, I wonder where they were. Was it this one? No, this one, sorry. No, it wasn't that one. Was it this one? Might have been that one. Hmm. Was it? I don't think it was either of these. No. They've moved anyway, haven't they? So, I'll not see them anyway now. Hmm. Right, let's just check nothing's arrived in my theatre. And then I'll check if we do have peace with the Italian states. Pretty sure we do. Yep, they're still there. So I don't need to worry about those. Crikey, this has gone um, very laggy, hasn't it? Right, um, nothing around here. Didn't see anything move, did we either? So let me just check Italian states. What state we're in with them? We're at war with them. Ah, now then. I'd forgotten all about them. I'm going to get peace with the Italian states. Um, now the trade agreement. And I'll pay them something. Two, oh, sorry. One, two, three, three, four. Right. I'll make them think again. Ah, they want Mexico. Ah, that's interesting, isn't it? I wonder if that's where they're going. I'll have a look for them. They're not having that. You're not having a military alliance. You're certainly not having that much. Um, let's uh, offer them a bit more, then. 10,000. Uh, they've obviously got the bit between their teeth, haven't they? Teeth, haven't they? Uh, pay once, yeah, OK. So they'll accept 10,000. Come on, you're not going to give me that much throughout the rest of the game. 
They want New Mexico. Oh, it's not Mexico. It's New Mexico. They want New Mexico, the Italian states. What on earth do they think they're playing at? They've got no chance. Now, let's uh, see where they are. Italians. Oh, sorry. We should do it this way, shouldn't I? Let's negotiations. Look for regions. Let's see what they've got. Right. They've got two regions. Uh, whichever one's their home one, which is probably that one. Yes, it is. And then they've got Lombardy, which is that one there. Uh, do I invade Italy? I think not, to be honest. So, how did they get a fleet out of there? That's what I'd like to know. Or did they? Maybe they were coming down here. Hmm. Is that Italian States? Yes. Pretty sure it was Italian states, wasn't it, that moved. It could have been this sort of area, but I don't think it was. I should go back and watch the recording, shouldn't I? But I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, well, I can see no men on ships around there. Hmm. He's got to come through here, unless he already had a load of men on ships out there. Uh, on a trade hub, though. Why would he have a load of men on ships on a trade hub? Let me just check th this theatre, just to make sure he hasn't got anything in here. Um, Italian states. Right. Regions. Nothing. I don't understand it. Why would he have um, a fleet with forces sitting on them for no reason whatsoever? don't understand. Anyway, what I do understand is that I want to do a turn end, so let's just have a just one quick look, just to make sure there's nothing heading my way. Oops, what was that? Uh, nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. A bit, a bit laggy. Right, let's try the other theatre over here. Anything here? Nothing approaching me, is there at all anywhere? Right, well, I'm a bit confused. But we shall see. Oh dear, did I check the regions then? Not sure I did. Might have something rebelling. This is just the worst thing that can happen. <laughs> just approaching the end of the game and your one or two of your key objectives suddenly rebels. Oh dear, what a disaster that would be. Right, United Provinces. So he is moving. Hmm, nothing going towards ships though. Remember there were some Prussian ships that went down the Baltic. How on earth he got past my my fleet there in the mouth of the Baltic? I really don't know. So I can only think he's come out of a port and he's going to join some other ships to become a fleet. Uh, it's going to take him a good while with just that one place to build up a decent enough fleet to defeat me, I'm afraid. Um, hmm, Austria. I'm not sure who else they're at war with. I know they're at war with Prussia. But uh, I wonder if they're at war with the Italian states as well. They're, they're their neighbours, aren't they? Immediate neighbours. So we'll see. Right. Okay, again, I don't care who they are. If they put troops on ship... Ah, now that's something I didn't deal with, wasn't it? I didn't deal with their priests. I wonder if I can cope with half a dozen turns of their priests anyway, doing silly things. I, I don't think I've got any rakes in that area to kill them anyway, so I don't think I've got much choice. Right, Prussians. Hmm. Moving into a neighbouring red territory. I wonder whose that is. Is that mine? Is that northern France? Can't be that far up, can it? Surely no, it isn't. There's no way. Okay. Mm hmm. Anyway, it would show green on my side, wouldn't it, of that line, you know, that border line that you get? Right. Oh, he's raiding trade routes. Well, I might just go in there and then, yeah, take his ships and move back again. Not take his ships, but, you know, blow up his ships. Right, we, right we're approaching Italy now. Hmm. What you can't do is pause it, you know, during the campaign. Right. I slowed that down then. I oh, nothing. 
Nothing at all happened then. Oh dear, that's a bit worrying actually. I don't, I don't know what, what's happening there. Hmm. Uh, right, nothing at all again. Nothing to be concerned about anyway. The money's growing. We're at 76,000 or 70 odd thousand. If they want places like. Oh no, I can't give New Mexico away actually. I was going to say I could give away places like that, but I can't. Where is he? New England. Um, I don't suppose anything like that matters anymore around here, does it? I'm pretty sure we're 100% Protestant there anyway. Yes, we are. I suppose I could move them over to um, one of these places. Is Florida 100% um, Protestant? Catholic, he says. Right, uh, how about here? I think everywhere. What about Lower Louisiana? That probably still isn't, is it? Nope, it's only on 21%. So let's move them over there then. Okay, you might say... Oh, crikey, now this is something that he's dealing with. Army recruitment, naval recruitment, tax efficiency plus one, plus three tax efficiency, prestige, everything's good there. I'm going to keep that, keep that government. Trade route raided. Right, okay, that's the one in Prussia, Prussia that we know about. Okay, steep pump land drainage. As I said to you before, I'm not buying anything, there's just no point. Trade gained. Uh, happy drinker. Uh, Protestant missionary, no surprise there. Uh, right, oh, a general. What a shame. Oh, it's him, isn't it? Well, let's give him a new general. They're good troops. Why not? They deserve a new general. Uh, and agent recruiter we already know about. Right, let's crack on to the next turn, see what happens. Um, just check around though, just to make sure nothing has changed. Uh, there shouldn't be anything approaching me. If there's anything I could see, I'd have seen it on the turn end anyway. So they've remained in the same place. Over here, ah, I did say maybe I would attack those Prussians, didn't I? Because they're raiding my trade route. Oh, you could see the raid now, probably. So a lot. Uh, oh, what if it's Savoy? Oh, Savoy will be blockaded. If, if you take it all away completely like that, it's a blockade. Oh, that's strange. I didn't think you'd have s thought you'd have seen some raiding going on, but no, it's just Sweden that's um, still blockaded. What's he got there in terms of ships? Six rate and brig? No worries. And a couple of sloops? No worries. He can't get out of the Baltic, so I, I have no fears, really. So I, I think I'd simply just crack on to the next turn. Uh, oh! We'll look at the regions this time, just to make sure everything's okay. Regions. Right. Nothing to report there. You know what's going to happen next, don't you? They're going to allow me to go be beyond 1825, and I'm going to be really peeved that I didn't take more territories, because I could have dominated the world. Uh, oh dear. That would be a shame if that happened, wouldn't it? I don't even know what year I'm in now. If I move that away. Summer, 1823. Right, I need to go to... I think it's the end of 1825 I need to get to, isn't it? So I need the winter of 1823 and then all the way up to um, 1825. I think what I might do, if nothing happens over these next turns, I might well just abbreviate all of these, or cut all of these out and then move straight on. Uh, what time are we on now? Mm, yeah, I could do. Then you could just see the end of the campaign, couldn't you? Because I don't think anything of significance is going to happen. I don't think it will. What I could do is just make a note of it and let you know. But I honestly don't think I'm at threat. But obviously if I am at threat, something happens, I'll certainly let you know. I'll show you it. I'll bring it back in and do another video, of course. But I think this has to be it now. I honestly do. OK, this should be the last turn. Just speed everything up. Um, not much to report, really, though. Um, the Italians went for peace, um, but they asked me for it, to be honest with you. 3,900 that cost me. Um, that's all they wanted, so that was good. Summer of 1824, the um, Prussians brought a heavy first rate into the mouth of the Baltic. I just ignored it. Uh, but then what they did was they supported it the following turn with a load of other ships. Um, there was, uh, um, what was it, uh, by summer of 1825 anyway, that's the, that's the one that's just gone. They had, um, you know, a heavy first rate and a third rate and a... Oh no, actually, that was... Um, hmm, when did that happen? Yeah, the, the, yeah, that, that's right. They, um, they, they attacked me with a heavy first rate, a third rate and six or seven others, like Indiamen and stuff like that. Um, of course, we 
I, I just retreated from that because I thought, well, I might not win that one. But um, I didn't want to fight a battle, of course, so I just retreated. Uh, the following turn, all I did was combined both my fleets and auto-resolved it and just murdered him. So uh, that, that was that one done, you know, because everything just stayed in the same position, you see. So I just combined that uh, the Baltic Mouth fleet along with the, um, the one that I had near London, and that was enough to easily do it. Um, the um, Prussians blockaded um, a port of mine in... Uh, Andalusia, and uh, they did it with um, uh, a sloop and a brig, that's all. I've got a large navy right next to it, and I thought, nah, can't be bothered, so I left that one as well. <laughs> so, other than that, absolutely nothing happened, so I didn't fight any battles or anything. And So, basically, the, the best the Prussians could get was a heavy first rate and a third rate um, to tackle me. Didn't even have an army on their ships at all, you know. And the Italians, like I say, gave up quite quickly, you know, almost the next turn um, after I'd recorded them till So... That was it, really, and this is the end of the turn. Um, nobody can reach me anywhere. I've checked all my territories. They're all perfectly green and happy. I've got, as you can see, 222,000 in the bank. So uh, it's uh, impossible for anybody to take my objectives away from me. Uh, I've checked all that. I've been watching every turn end to see if anything comes for me, and there's nothing at all. So I um, honestly can't see how it can possibly be any other result but a victory. Hmm. What is surprising me though is that it's taking so long to do this turn. Maybe it's uh, waiting to tell me. I only had five minutes of video left and I'm not sure at this turn end how long I've got on for so it might well be three minutes. I might only have two minutes of video this left and I want to get that on there. Oh okay then. Right okay. Three. Final victory. So the sound isn't very good on mine, so... I mean, you can watch it, by all means, but I'd turn the sound down if I were you, because um, it's very diffracted, the sound on mine. It never works properly at all, so you can just um, uh, watch it, turn your video down for a minute, you know, your volume down, then, um, you know, at least you'll be able to see um, exactly what the final screens are. It usually only lasts, say, a minute or something, ending, ending with fireworks and things. And not this one, by the way, I don't know, I haven't seen this one before, I've only done the campaigns, the full campaigns. So I don't quite know how this one's going to end, but it generally right, ends like right. that, doesn't it? You know, so congratulating you on building your empire, and this is showing all your industry now and everything. So, um, yeah, parading your armies in front of you as well. And I think once it's done that, that's the end of it. So we should be getting fireworks. And oh, there you go, fireworks. Yeah, I thought there would be. They usually are. It's usually you know sort of talking to you and then showing you the. Uh, industry and then uh, parading the troops and then setting off the fireworks and then that's it. I think because I've rushed through all of these game turns, ah oh right okay, I, I'm not going to continue the uh, the battle, uh, the, the campaign. Um, I, I'll click continue for now, shall I, or can I move anyway? Yeah I can move around anyway. Nothing's changed to be honest with you, all you need to do is look through the, um, you know, what, what you could see before, it won't let me change theatres I'm afraid, but um, you could see that blockaded port down there that he did, other than that, absolutely nothing happened whatsoever. So there you go, that's how to do the um, American um, campaign, you know, the, the fourth part of the Road to Independence, which uh, I think is quite good actually, it's, it worked out to be quite a challenge I think, um, sorting out that eastern seaboard, making sure that it was safe from any invasions anywhere, particularly the Prussian ones coming in towards Newfoundland and up that way, you know, so... Um, that posed a bit of a threat to me, there's no doubt about it. Those large armies that the Spanish had in Mexico, without me taking Spain, they would have been tricky for me to take, really. I'd need a lot of troops, and I'm not sure America's got the wealth in itself to sustain armies that big and be able to fight off, you know, navies and possible landings all the way along here without taking some of those lucrative areas, you know, like Mexico, certainly, but, but like Europe as well. But um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, I have to think about what I'm going to do next now. Not be for a while, though, I'm afraid, and I'm certainly away this weekend. But I've got plenty of videos to put up. I've got about ten to put up there um, that will finish off this campaign.